Hey everyone, Derek here to show off even more stages that have been created in the Stage Builder mode for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we have five more stages based off other games. And right off the bat, we're going to go into Cl uh, Castlevania with the Clock Tower Ruins as made by Jan the Man. Now we've seen him before, but you know, this kind of appeals to me since I'm again a bit of a Castlevania guy at this point, and I I'd like to see what he came up with for an alternative uh, Castlevania stage. So let's see what the Clock Tower Ruins uh, are all about. Let's go ahead and jump right in and see what we've got. And right off the bat, I love the use of actual, like, I, oh man, that looks, wow, that's really lucky of the uh, CPU Mario. That's really clever. They actually have the, because if you've ever played a Castlevania before, you know that the gears are always a big part of that. And I like how he uh, explains the minimalist nature of the stage by calling it the ruins. And even making the, uh, the, the clock faces, you know, part of the stage itself. Uh, so even though, like, this is, you know, there's not a lot of flat land to fight on, but... This is very natural to the uh, the idea behind uh, the Castlevania clock towers, and I actually really like this. This is a really clever idea, especially with how they're all moving. He has the idea of them going in opposite ways, so it actually makes sense that they're rotating like this, and even has a little like um, bell going back and forth, like a um, oh, I forget what you'd call it, but yeah, that kind of idea right below to sort of save yourself potentially. Uh, so let's just go ahead and. Uh, move out real quick to get a better look. Um, let's see. There we are. So yeah, of course, having the giant moon in the background is perfect. But yeah, it's it's a smaller stage, a simpler stage, but the thought process behind it really enjoys. So definitely check that one out if you find yourself if you you yourself is a Castlevania fan. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Next up, we have Chemical Plant from Sonic the Hedgehog, as made by Banks Lad, and I'm really curious how they pulled this one off. I'm a big fan of uh, Chemical Plant. That's one of my favorite stages from Sonic the Hedgehog, and it's hard to get a, a grasp on what it's like from this picture, but let's test it out and see how he integrated the whole idea behind Chemical Plant within, within uh, the stage builder. Very curious. Alright, so we're on the stage, and uh, we got a little spring over here for us to uh, bounce on up. Uh, go over here and have all this back there. We have a bit of a... Uh, oh, nice! He actually has the rotating blocks uh, that you use to climb up the water. You can kind of get a representation of the pipes as well. And, yeah, even have this little bit going up and down. This is actually... Uh, it's it's a, a little more abstract as far as its design, but the elements of Chemical Plant are here, and I love how he even has that going down. Man, that'll mess you up. You can of course walk off, but yeah, that's that's really cool to have like the um, the the actual chemicals uh, run all around and cause that kind of trouble. Got the springs and even have the background full of those elements. Which means this whole stage is quite viable just to play together on. Uh, like, I think all the major elements of Chemical Plant are represented here. And even the background kind of works for it. Um, yeah, I, I actually dig it. It's, like I said, the background is maybe not is a bit more abstract than we've seen from other stages. But as far as the essential elements, I think they're well represented. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out uh, it out in the full view. Uh, hide our display, and out we go. So yeah, not too much more to comment on. There's got all of the elements around here, uh, the walk-off portions, and what we see above. But still, maybe not the prettiest, but certainly very functional and definitely works out. And like, this feels like. Uh, the elements of Chemical Plant. I especially love the blocks on the top right. That's really clever. Very clever. So, kudos. And for our next stage, we're going to the Super Mario World Fortress, sort of the boss arena from Super Mario World. Uh, this is made by Tantalus, and 
Yeah, it looks to be a recreation of Resnor's boss fight, so let's jump into this and see how well it's been uh, recreated here. Alright, we're in here, and oh man, I did not realize from the, uh, the, uh, the preview that this went back and forth. That's really cool. Uh, actually, there's a representation of uh, a couple of different boss fights, maybe. Hard to say. I can't remember if there was a tilting bit there for uh, Resnor. I don't think there was. But um, that I definitely remember that from some of the Koopaling battles. And I uh, don't fully recognize this. It's been a while since I played Super Mario World. But that's really cool. And I love the fact that that tilts back and forth. And we have a little bit more options as far as aerially uh, to take on what's over here. And you're also kind of just in trouble if you get to the edge too much. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, but of course we also have the lava down below. Which, interesting, you don't actually get hit by the lava as soon as you hit it. Which I think is actually on purpose, because otherwise that wouldn't be able to tilt back and forth. So he puts it into the uh, foreground. Let's go ahead and check out the camera real quick so we can confirm that. And there's the entire stage itself. As you can see, we got the wind, got the uh, Resnor bit, and is there a way to... do? Yeah, I think that's basically how that works. You can see it's sort of the... Um, the front portion there and yeah I, I wasn't you know sure how well this rep represented but I, I really the tilting platform in the center really does add a lot like that's kind of the childhood for me is hitting the um, hitting the uh, cupolings and sending their shells off uh, into the lava which was a you know kind of a unique boss fight idea back in the day at least as a kid so yeah Again, a bit of a simple idea, but it works very well. Especially love all the crisscross wood for uh, Resnor right there. So, yeah, very well done. So for our fourth uh, stage that we got here, we have Treasure Trove Cove from Tevlev. And, uh, yeah, for those of you who like your Banjo-Kazooie, we have a Banjo-Kazooie stage. So that's a pretty cool idea. Uh, we already got some, I can see some... Jiggies, uh, actually no, it's not Jiggies, it's Music Notes. I have not played Banjo-Kazooie in a long time and I haven't even been in it yet. But still, just looking at this, this is pretty cool. So let's jump into the stage and see what it offers. And here we are. Got the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, clam in the background. We have the higher portion there. That's pretty cool. Love those bits. And, oh, that's it. <laughs> Okay, so this is actually, this looked a lot bigger on the uh, one end, on the uh, preview, but yeah, most of that's down below, just a lot of sand, and yeah, it's, it's honestly, I love this clam. That thing, it looks so happy, and that's kind of cool. Uh, even have right over here the, uh, the, the sunken ship uh, that works really well. We got the, the shell in the background, and of course, the notes above. Uh, if only we could, could have got a jiggy somewhere, like maybe up top there. But still, again, a bit smaller, but I think it looks pretty good. I, I love the bouncing clam. I love that clam so much. I don't know why, but he makes me happy. All right, let's go into the camera controls uh, and uh, see, you know, get our wider berth. As you can see, looking at this, for some reason, I thought we'd go in front. Of, in front. I kind of, I guess I'm just used to that idea. But, uh, no, I, I like that it's just a, a one flat surface. A uh, bit of an extension up here. We got the dancing clam in the background to give it a little bit more, more personality. And it kind of has the idea of a bit more of a basic stage, but the background elements really add a lot to what, to what the stage is, which is kind of like other Smash stages. And even the background with all the water uh, back there works for it. So, yeah, not quite what I, was, what I was expecting, but I think I like it more. So, yeah, really cool stuff. And for our final stage, we have courtroom number three, a recreation from Ace Attorney. And right off the bat, just looking at this, this is fantastic. Seeing Phoenix and Miles right there, the background choice, all that works so well for the courtroom and the Ace Attorney series. I'm excited to check this one out from Luigi Guy. So let's just jump right into it. And here we are, right in the center where uh, the defendant, I guess, would be. Uh, that's pretty cool. And, oh, that's oh, that's beautiful. The objection goes back and forth between Miles and uh, 
and uh, <laughs> and um, Phoenix. That's so good. Did not expect them to be background elements. I actually thought you'd jump over them as well, but it works for them to be in the background. Kind of wish you could jump on their arms just so the uh, objection here in the middle would be a little bit more of a hazard, but it does go pretty low. Uh, so that could definitely cause some problems uh, for you there. Uh, but yeah, just having that objection go back and forth, that's really cool. The background works so well for this, and honestly with the uh, the walk-offs on the edge and uh, the middle section here, this works pretty well as a viable stage to have a lot of fun on and you know get caught off guard, maybe get saved, maybe get messed up by the objection flying around. Uh, either way, I really like the idea and it seems like a great execution uh, pulled off. So, wait for the objection to get over here. There, there we go. Get the camera controls. Oh, look at that. Again, you got that down there, but uh, it works so well for the two of them. Oh, that just looks good. <laughs> I like, I really like that. That is really cool. Oh, out of curiosity, since we have that thing in the front. Okay, that is just a pure uh, thing you can fall on. Oh, man. Really well done. Really a great set of stages, in my opinion, uh, for this for this lineup of uh, five more uh, Smash stages based on other games. It's uh, the creativity just is really off the charts. Uh, loving what I'm seeing. Like I, we got a lot of examples of simplicity done right. Not not very extravagant, but the ideas are there. They're really well executed, and I dig it. So let me know what you guys think of the, this set of stages in the comments below. And of course, be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Super Smash Brothers and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.